men, we're men in tights. We roam around the forest looking for lights. Hi, this is Gina from Haunted Flower on a very rainy day in May, here to tell you what I thought of Robin Hood, which we just saw at a screening last night. Ridley Scott once again pairs with Russell Crowe in Robin Hood, this year's version of the heroic tale of a man who steals from the rich to give to the poor or something like that. Um, this version of the story is hyped up on the battle and war angle, and the uh, the romance and adventure is sliced down to like a smidgen of what most people are used to when they think of the character. Robin Longstride fights alongside King Richard in the Crusades until the king's death brings about a series of events that cause Robin to impersonate the knight Robert Loxley to get back to England and through upholding the charade ends up becoming a leader in a battle of the English against the French. Russell Crowe grumbles his way through this film with less charisma than he had as the lead in Gladiator, and showing personality is kind of a fleeting encounter. He looks like a grisly old man, and there's just nothing fun or particularly exciting about him or his performance, even in the action sequences. Kate Blanchett plays Lady Marion Loxley, who has been waiting at home in Nottingham for her husband to return home from the war for the last decade. And she's not a damsel in distress, but a hard-working woman of the fields who can also string a bow and arrow. She has this worn, hard, country look that works with the theme of this movie, but she also refuses to enjoy herself at any point during this film. Marion and Robin and most everybody else in the village except for like the three merry men and the friar are so serious and miserable in the 12th century that they make the audience kind of miserable to have to experience it with them. The only character that can really revel in being evil and still kind of get the occasional chuckle from the audience is the childish obstinate Prince John played by Oscar Isaac. Isaac does bring that character to life in a little bit of a more familiar sense, being superior, whiny, a terrible pushover in making decisions, and selfish beyond anything else. What director Ridley Scott excels at is showing a period in time for what it was historically in all of its grimy unattractiveness, so that when there are arrow shooting scenes, they are a lot more brutal and kind of fire off almost like gunshots. But with this realism also comes the retreat of any fantasy, romantic imagery that people have of this time with kings and knights and outlaw heroes. All the fun and romance is gone. This is just gritty, grimy, dirty, not fun. Do not go into Robin Hood expecting anything to resemble tales of Robin Hood you have heard or seen in the past because that has been utterly shattered to bits with only like tiny slivers of familiar names shoved into awkward places and kind of strung together haphazardly. At first look, it is Gladiator meets Robin Hood, but by the time it was over, it felt a lot more like Gladiator meets Braveheart with maybe tiny sprinkles of Robin Hood laced on. Normally, I would recommend a film with a lot of super cool fight sequences to celebrate carnage if you're a fan of that sort of thing, even if the plot is suffering. But unfortunately, not even those sequences were that well choreographed or dramatized with suspense. It's understandable from the trailers and everything that this film is going to be way off base from the normal stories of Robin Hood, and you're not going to get romance, adventure, or fun. But when you're going for the war angle, and I'm not even feeling like you're getting that very well, like you have all these battle speeches and the music swelling up, and I'm just kind of like, eh. I am really disappointed because I would have been on board if they had at least taken that angle to the fullest extent to where I felt for it. You know? I would wait to rent it, honestly. It's just not even worth going to the theater for. I wish I could have had something more awesome to tell you guys today, but thanks for watching and have a great day. I'm Shameless plug! Don't forget to see all of my reviews and videos of me on the Rotten Tomatoes show at hauntedflowerreviews.com. Also check out our store, hauntedflower.com, the web's best source for fantastic apparel. You can follow us on Twitter at haunted underscore flower or fan our Facebook page too. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit indiemojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes. They'll call him the phony king of things.
land. 